Hello everyone, welcome to Words for Life. My name is Steven. Today we're going to talk about burnout. Now, many of us have jobs that require us to kind of be always on or always available. This always availableness leads us to honestly getting burnt out by trying to handle all the tasks that work has to throw throw at us and to be constantly available for that work. On top of that, dealing with home life, family situations, relationships, and so on and so forth, it can get quite overwhelming quite quickly. So burnout is when you've gone so far that you can't really function anymore and are having trouble focusing or concentrating and don't really feel the desire to work towards being productive or being helpful or anything like that. Everything just feels very neutral or blasé. And that burnout can be a real thing. I know some people debate and just say, well, you're not motivated. I think burnout can actually be a very real thing. So oftentimes because it is work-related and we feel we need to be successful and we need to go and prove ourselves to our managers, to our peers, and to others in the work environment, it's often difficult to recognize the burnout rather than just saying it's lack of motivation or you're just not into it or something along those lines. So one of the important things is like give yourself permission to back off of things and to relax. With this always on world, oftentimes we feel we have to be there all the time. And you need to give yourself permission to back off. Allow someone else to do some of the work, especially if you're being burnt out. That burnout is probably affecting your productivity and your performance more than you recognize. And others might not be apt to let you know that, hey, your performance is being impacted. Or maybe not able to recognize because you do such a good job of putting on a front to others that you are maintaining and taking care of everything they don't recognize that you're getting burnt out but that's something that you need to look into yourself to see am i getting burnt out do i feel a lack of motivation do i feel a lack of inspiration to do the work that i'm doing now if this is more of an ongoing activity you might need to think about possibly a career change or a different way of doing your job or something along those lines But if it's truly more kind of temporary or leading into normal, you're extremely motivated to do your job and you enjoy it, but now you're becoming less motivated because you feel overwhelmed by just all the activity that is going on, whether it's the emotional strain from dealing with co-workers because of just everybody's strain that they have given the balance between work and life, or if it's because your job duties have changed or they have morphed into something you didn't quite expect so you feel less motivated. This is your opportunity to give yourself permission to back off, reevaluate. I'm not saying don't do your job, but don't feel like you have to be 120% on all the time to get things done. Back off a little bit, take some time, evaluate why are you getting burned out? Maybe you just do need some downtime. Maybe it's time to take a break, take a vacation. If you haven't had one of those in a while, this is your opportunity to give yourself permission to have those breaks, to have that time off. It's part of your compensation. Make sure you take advantage of it and do the things necessary to maintain your mental health and your stability. So my ask to you is if you're feeling burnt out, take a moment step back, relax, evaluate, determine if it's temporary or not. Has this been going on for a long time? If it's temporary, take a moment, relax. Maybe it's time to take a vacation and don't think about work for a little while to really get yourself in a better headspace. Once you've done that and you can come back refreshed and rejuvenated, then you can go and start tackling some of that possibly lack of motivation or evaluation of, is this the career I once thought it was, or am I just overwhelmed by the things and I need that break? That vacation time, that time off can give you that opportunity to do that. So remember, always take care of your own mental health because no one else will do it for you. I want to thank you for joining on this episode. I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day.